What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another iOS 13 tweak review. We're taking a look at another free tweak and this one is actually really awesome. It is called Artemis, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, and this is a really powerful tweak for being free. I'm rather surprised. I would, I would normally see a tweak like this having like a 99 cent price tag on it. But like I said, it is free guys, which is awesome. It's basically a springboard customization tool for iOS 13. It's going to allow you to hide a bunch of stuff on your device. And I absolutely love tweaks that allow me to unclutter and hide a bunch of stuff that I just don't want to see. So like I said, it is free. I'll leave the package information down in the description. I can't remember what repo it's from, but if it's from anything special, I'll put it in the description for you guys. Um, but as you can see, I have no icon labels. That's because of Artemis. I have no dock background, again, using Artemis. And there's a bunch of other stuff you can hide with it too. So let's go into settings here. Let's go into tweaks, and then we can go into Artemis. So first off, you have your on off switch at the top. I love tweaks that do that. So if you wanna disable it, you can do it very easily. Now this tweak is also meant for notched devices like the iPhone 10 or the 10s Max. Um, so you can hide uh, certain things for those devices like the home bar, you can hide it system wide or just on the lock screen. Um, and then you have some home screen options here. You can have a transparent dock background which basically makes the dock invisible. You can hide the page dots, you can hide the icon labels. Uh, I have both of those turned on because I love it the way it looks when there's no icon labels. It's just a super clean look in my opinion. Um, you can actually customize the icon labels as well so you can name them to be whatever you want. You can just go into user application and you could adjust the name to whatever you want if you want to customize that. Um, you have options for undim screen timed out app icon, hide screen time hourglass label so you got some options there. And now going into get my keyboard to go away there. Uh, go into the lock screen options here. You can hide a face ID, the lock icon. You can hide control center grabber. You can hide the camera quick button, the flashlight quick button, hide the unlock hint. You can also customize the unlock hint if you want to change that. Um, we also have status bar options here. You can rename the carrier. That's what I've done. I've just changed it to IDM for iDevice movies. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, you can hide carrier only. You can hide all status bar items if you wanted to. You have some other options here for spotlight. Disable on the lock screen or disable it on the home screen. So if you don't like using spotlight, uh, you could disable it. And then also some media controls. Uh, you can hide timeline and knob, hide media controls background, or use the mini lock screen media controls, which looks pretty cool. Uh, so like I said, there's just a ton of options within... Artemis, and it's really to minimalize your device, unclutter it, hide a bunch of stuff that you don't want to see, or even customize some stuff if you want it to look a little different. But for being a free tweak, it's pretty impressive. Again, I'll leave the package information down in the description. If you guys want my wallpapers, they're on Telegram. The link for that is in the description as well. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.